What's up, everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room, and today I have the brand new Jurassic World Legacy Collection, Mamia Chinthosaurus, right here. So let's go ahead and get into a review and unboxing. So here we are with our brand new Jurassic World Legacy Collection Sauropod. Sorry if I butchered the name the first time. I'm not 100% sure how to say it. But this is the big sauropod from the Lost World Jurassic Park. When they were trying to round up all the animals. The, you can see the dirt bike was going through and everything. But that was the sauropod that you saw there in the movie. But now let's get into the review. Let's take a look at the box first. So first off you can see this absolutely beautiful silhouette of two of the, I'm going to try to say it again, Mammy and Chinthosauruses, um, which is really, really cool. Sorry about the glare. Um, and then coming to the top, just shows you a little bit more about it. Same thing on the sides, but I like how they continued the sky and trees here to make the box art wonderful on this. And then boom, here is the other side. You can still see the tail wraps around. And then all the way here on the back, You've got a similar view, but it looks really, really cool. But now let's go ahead and start getting it out of the box. Try not to damage the box too much, but this is stuck down so well, it's definitely gonna take a little bit of damage here. Yeah, a little bit of tearing, but no big deal. So now let's slide it out of the box. So we got a piece here. And there is the rest of it, which is awesome. So now let me go ahead and get the parts out of the bags. Now let's snap it together. So now here is the sauropod in all of her glory. And this thing is massive and beautiful. As you can see, really, really big with my hands compared to it. Let's see if we can open up that mouth. But this one is really, really beautiful. Um, this may be my new favorite of the sauropods they've done before. I'm not sure if that's just my initial reaction or if that's really how I feel about it. But now let's go ahead and take a closer look. So starting off with the head sculpt, you can see it looks really, really nice. You've got some articulation here, articulation on the mouth, obviously, which is really, really cool. Gives it that realism all the way down to its really long neck. Um, I think this one's much longer than the other ones they had, other sauropods they've released. Um, but of course, you've got articulation on the legs, articulation on the big neck, too kind of snaps, so it's kind of hard to turn. I think I need two hands, but there we go. You can see how it goes up and down there, which is really cool. Coming all the way down to a super long tail. Um, now the paint deco on it looks really good as well. It's got that kind of grayish brown finish like the first Bro Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus had, but then it's also got these dark brown stripes going along the top that look really, really nice. Um, unfortunately the toes aren't really painted or I can't really tell. They don't look painted to me. Actually, maybe they are. Um, it's kind of hard to tell cause it's a similar color, but either way, not very noticeable. Still looks good. Now up under, you've got a nice like white, whitish tannish colored wash going down to give it that realistic feel. Of course we have the Jurassic logo here on the bottom of the foot. And then, of course, I don't want to forget the scan code for anyone that is interested. There it is. But this Mamia Chinthosaurus looks very, very nice. So now let's take a look at it beside the Apatosaurus and beside the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus for a size comparison. So here we have them all side by side. We have the Legacy Collection of Patosaurus first, the new Mamia Chinthosaurus in the middle, and then the back is the original Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus. They're all decently similar in size, but if you put the Mamia Chinthosaurus's head down, it is by far the longest dinosaur. You can see the tail goes past the Apatosaurus. 
and then all the way past him again. Now, if you put the head all the way up, sorry, then it's just about as tall as the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus as well, which makes this um, maybe one of the biggest sauropods they've done. Um, now, the neck is a little skinnier than the other two, but um, the body is similar, the tail is longer, and um, it just seems a little bit, I guess, bigger, but it's kind of hard to determine. Um, it's definitely bigger than the Apatosaurus. The Brachiosaurus is still giving it a run for its money, but it looks really good here with the other two, and I'm very happy to add this one to my collection. Thank you for tuning in to today's Jurassic World Legacy Collection Mamia Chinthosaurus review and unboxing. If you enjoyed this and want to see so much more from my collection, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything that I have coming down here into the Jurassic Room. And go ahead and hit that like button to show me a little extra support. Thanks everyone and I will catch all of you in the next video. Check out more awesome videos here. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>